So um, my single dad diary today is about um, last night. And um, last night I cried myself to sleep, and I can't remember the last time um, I was so just caught up with the moment and crying myself to sleep. I can't remember the last time I cried myself to sleep. That's, that's kind of sad. Um, but the subject that I want to talk about is what's happened in my part of the town. I don't know if many of you know about Chelsea King, but this was a 17-year-old uh, teenager here at the local high school near my home that was abducted. And um, it's been going on since Saturday in terms of the search for her. And of course, the search turned into the search for a body. And of course, there was a suspect. And on um, the topic I want to bring up is just about how to communicate to your children, not only your feelings, but what's going on and, and the world around us sometimes is got good people and sometimes the world has some bad people and trying to explain to a 10 year old what a child abduction is and how there are people out in the world that do bad things is not always easy and I had that talk with my 10 year old as well as my teenage 16 year old daughter who does run not near the area where Chelsea was found but that's not the point because it they don't just hang out in one area you know, these people that are registered on Amber's uh, alert list have cars and they travel everywhere. In this case, this um, this person that's in custody and is accused of the crime is from a neighboring city and came obviously to visit, or at least it's, it's just, it is, um, anyways. So I'm here to talk about my single dead diary and telling my daughter about just safety in numbers and how you communicate that with a 10 year old and how you communicate that, communicate that to a 16 year old is entirely different because obviously the 16 year old conversation is, is between adult and adult, adult and young adult, father and daughter. And I just had to tell my 16 year old daughter that I'm so grateful, I am so grateful that she is alive and well and safe and, um, and how sad I was for the parents that lost their daughter. And um, she gave me some words of encouragement and told me I was doing a good job as a single dad. And, um, you know, probably brought more tears to my eyes than I anticipated. But I don't know why this one um, recent abduction just really got to my core this week. But um, it really caught me off guard. And I was really um, present to what it must feel like to be a parent not knowing where your child is and of course those deep dark thoughts of what um, obviously is, has occurred in Chelsea King's family and I just my heart goes out because being a father and, and having children at that age it's just really 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 disturbing and uh, that's kind of what what's going on in my heart right now as a single dad and a single parent in what we can do as parents as much as we try to try to uh, protect our children as much as possible it is a world out there of unknowns and variables and um, like I said it was one of those nights where I can't remember the last time I cried myself asleep and I did last night and um, I know that life goes on and there's a lesson to learn from all of this and how it's made and touched a lot of people in my community and um, well, going to school this morning, taking my youngest daughter, we had a chance to talk about it. And of course, you know, she, she's such a bright, smart young girl. And she told me that it's okay to feel sad, Dad. And um, I know that I make all the good decisions and the right decisions. I stay in groups. I don't trust strangers. And um, I'm going to be okay. And I'll call you when I get to Mommy's this afternoon. So that's my single dad diary of today about... I cried myself to sleep last night, and I was sad. I was sad for the parents of Chelsea King and losing a loved one like that in such a tragic way.